Hey guys, what's up? My name is Swanky, and today I have some great information for all of you DLC lovers and Advanced Warfare players out there. That's right, we got the new Ascendance map pack revealed that's going to be coming out on March 31st, and I'm going to go in and individually talk about each of the maps as well as the new Exo Zombies add-on. But before we get into that, guys, go check out my Twitter and my Twitch stream down in the description. I've been streaming a lot more. I will be live there tonight, so make sure you guys go follow and check out the stream. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. So guys, Activision and Sledgehammer Games have announced the second DLC pack for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare called Ascendance. Ascendance will be available on March 31st on Xbox Live for the, both the Xbox One and the 360. For the PlayStation, it will probably be coming out about a month later due to the deals with Activision and Microsoft. The Ascendance DLC features four new maps called Perplex, Site 244, Climate, and Shop Shop. I will be going into detail on those later in the video, so make sure you guys stay around. The new Ohm Werewolf 2 and 1 LMG as well as the new map for Exo Zombies. They are also adding in the new Exo ability only for the Ascendance DLC playlist called Exo Grappling, which will allow players to maneuver the map very differently. It sounds like a great ability, and I like how it's only for the Ascendance DLC playlist. So guys, I'm going to talk about each of the multiplayer maps and give the description. If you guys want to follow along, go check out Charlie Intel for all the latest and greatest news on Advanced Warfare, as well as the upcoming Call of Duties and any other games that you guys might be interested in, link in the description. So guys, first off we have Perplex. Venture to the streets of Sydney and battle through a five-story modular apartment complex with elevated vantages and tight corridors. Perplex is a small to medium-sized map that fits a variety of playstyles. Construction drones will shake things up, however, they will shift apartment modules and create new strategic pathways. Sounds like a great map. The way it looks kind of reminds me of Gateway or whatever that face-off map on Modern Warfare 3 looks down to the beach. That just looks like an awesome map, kind of modern style. It looks like a lot of fun to actually play on. Next, guys, we have a map called Site 244, and an alien craft has crash landed beneath Mount Rushmore, USA, making for an awesome medium to large size map. Three lane map littered with extraterrestrial debris. Gain a competitive edge by earning the map based score streak to open an alien spore that enhances your perks and abilities. Sounds like this score streak is actually going to be really awesome and basically make you into a specialist. If you guys remember that from uh, Modern Warfare 3 and all those Infinity War games like Call of Duty Ghost, it just basically made you a Super Saiyan and you got to go off on people. Next up, guys, we have a map called Climate, which is your dome away from home. A lush climate controlled biodome with a circular layout for the central island structure for teams to fight over. Climate keeps the pace of the action high. And the tides can turn when the rivers begin to rage and become a treacherous obstacle. Now this sounds like Hunger Games. Remember guys, in Hunger Games 2, if you've ever seen the movie, everyone has to fight for those initial weapons by going to the middle island. I would definitely assume this map has a lot of ways to play it because you may be able to pick people off with a sniper on the island from far away or maybe get a shotgun and just rush people with that overclock ability and get those close quarter kills. For the final map, guys, we have Chop Shop. Discover the seedy underbelly of the unauthorized exoskeleton trade in Chop Shop, a medium-sized industrial complex with a devastating map-based score streak, the Advanced Repulsion Turret. Now, this seems like it's going to be kind of like Ascend with that turret, but hopefully this one does a little bit more. Now, I'm not going to go into the Ohm because I'm sure a lot of you have picked it up or have the Season Pass so you guys can use it whenever. It's a really OP weapon. Hopefully, it gets nerfed, but it's definitely a fun weapon to use in Advanced Warfare. Now, for what you guys have all been waiting for, Exo Zombies. Ascendance DLC also brings a new map for Exo Zombies called Imp Infection. The four heroes will be returning and will be located on the outskirts of an Atlas facility. The new Exo Zombies episode introduces a slew of never before seen undead masses, a robust arsenal of new traps and armaments, and everyone's favorite fast food joint, Burger Town. Now, if you guys remember from Modern Warfare 2 Terminal and Modern Warfare 3 Terminal, a lot of actual maps have Burger Town from the Infinity War series. Just an awesome, iconic uh, Infinity Ward add on into every Call of Duty that they've basically produced for a long time. There will be two Ascendance map trailers, and there will actually be one on Exo Zombies and one on the actual gameplay of the multiplayer maps during the COD Champs Million Dollar Tournament presented on March 29th by Xbox. So make sure you guys go check those out. I'll be talking about COD Champs a lot more. But that's it for this video, guys. Kind of did something new with the DLC maps. Hope you enjoyed. Go check out my Twitter and my Twitch. I'll be streaming tonight. And that's it for this video, guys. I'll catch you on the flip side.